Hi everyone, my name is Dylan Hun, and I'm a software engineer on the Angular Framework team. Let's look at some recent Angular updates that we think will really improve your development experience. To start things off, how often do you wish that you could get router parameters as component inputs? It would be so much easier compared to having to inject a service and interact with its API, right? I'm happy to share that in v16, you can now directly receive the route data, path parameters, and query parameters for a route as component inputs. Another small quality of life improvement that we introduced in v16 is self-closing tags. These allow you to do less typing by skipping the closing tag of your custom elements in templates. Next, we had a very popular feature request asking us to enable marking inputs as required so that when you don't set their value in a template, you can get an error. In version 16, you can take advantage of this feature today. You can specify an input as required by passing an object with required property set to true to the input decorator. A few months ago, we started porting the Angular CLI build system to ES Build. It's a highly performant bundler implemented in Go. A missing piece to make it available in developer preview was the ng-serve command. And in v16, we implemented a development server based on Vite. With this change, we're happy to announce that the ESBuild-based builder enters developer preview. We also worked on improving your experience in your text editor or IDE. The Angular language service now supports automatically importing components and pipes, both ng-module and standalone. The last feature that I want to tell you about today is the content security policy improvement we made for inline styles. Starting today, across the Angular CLI and framework, you can specify a nonce to meet the content security policy style source. For more information about this release, check goo.gle slash angular-v16.